everyone i am arjun i am 10 years old and i am from team warrior hero i am passionate about robotics and game development and this is my second time participating in codever and i am very very excited about it i always used to wonder how children in villages get first aid or basic education and if they have a new topic to learn about or have some doubts how would they learn about it i have come across a video that shows a child that walks 2 hours just to have some basic education while the villagers have internet access for entertainment they do not have proper health infrastructure or education we are blessed in many ways we have internet access we have our own computers we can learn anything at any time we just need the right motivation and interest to do it but it's not the same everywhere so i decided to do my bit for my friends all over the world so that we all can be healthy and we all can gain knowledge and we all can do our bit to the world too so let's strengthen the health infrastructure and automate the surroundings wherever possible meet mr dector he can be an online doctor online teacher nurse pharma friend music tutor and can even be placed in urban school for basic first aid and what not he is equipped with face recognition voice recognition image recognition he is a standalone bot solar powered can converse in many languages depending on user preference and he is human friendly mr dector is the solution to these sustainable goals So now let's see a code walkthrough. As you can see, I've used Arduino Uno and some couple of extensions. This is the main code in which we all run everything. So if uh, if the wind flag click, it chooses the language and there's some train data. And then there's some language options right here. There's a greeting. And then we move on. And if the switch is uh, uh, high, it goes to doctor. And if it's low, it goes to teacher. So, so it's basically like that. So if we go to doctor mode, here's the main code of the doctor which is executes and when I receive doctor mode, it broadcasts the talking animation and which I'll show later and this is some initializing and some training data and some other motor controls, server controls, more train data and over here is the, the data collection for fever and over here there is like many words for data collection and I use this language processing for that and yeah, there are uh, many things and over here is the teacher bot over here the same thing over here and then it trains the data right here and if it recognizes over here and then after that it goes to lesson and all of the uh, the voice gets uh, played and all of the costumes get shown and then after that here is the main code where it asks our doubts 
So basically, there is a, there is some couple of doubts right over here, and I've done the voice recognition for that. And the most important thing, the display, which which is what we see all the time. Yeah, there's some idle and talking or views repeat until, so it doesn't keep repeating it forever. And there's some basic things uh, that I need to make this robot function. So this is our quick code walkthrough. So now let's look how I built this project. So as you can see over here, I have a head and it has an iPad display. And this is no ordinary iPad. This is the iPad that I won from Codever. I got first prize last year and I got this iPad and I am so happy to use it in my other project. And this is a webcam from face recognition. And over here I use Tempedia logos. And over here we have two LEDs. One is for teacher and one is for doctor. So this is doctor, this is teacher. And you also have a switch to toggle between them. So if you select doctor mode, you will see the doctor LED glow. And if you select teacher mode, you will select the teacher LED glow. And this is Mr. Dexter's logo. So this is Peter Park's brainchild. And I have created a teacher and doctor because Mr. Dexter is a teacher and doctor. So I basically combined both of those and I got this logo, which is, looks amazing. And over here is the Stempedia logo because Pictoblock is created by Stempedia. And over here we have two <coughs> robot stickers. And these uh, robots are pretty cool because I've used a word cloud to generate this type of image. And it has like intelligence, Arjun VG, internet, Pictoblock, feature code. So the things that are related to this robot have been put over here. So this is the car that contains all of the important circuits and the medicines and everything. So over here are two motors. This is an Arduino Uno and over here is a motor driver. Those two motors contain two wheels and over here are, these are connected to no motors but are instead connect to a rod which acts like an axle and the rod is covered by a pipe over here. And then over here we have the motor driver that is connected to the Arduino Uno. And the switch and the LEDs come from the robot over here. It comes from here all the way down to here and are connected to the Arduino Uno. And the servers are over here. So now these servers are also connected to the Arduino Uno over here. And then they open and close whenever needed. Now I've removed the computer to show you guys how it looks from the back side. So over here are two LEDs and the switch as you saw from the front side. And these are connected to the Arduino Uno and all of these are connected to the Arduino Uno. So now let's see how it looks from the bottom. Over here the LEDs are connected to ground and its corresponding pin. This other LED is also connected to ground and its corresponding pin. And that's the same for the switch. And these motors are connected directly to the Arduino Uno because as you can see there is no wires coming from the top. can deploy Dector in an area that benefits everybody who doesn't have proper education or a health infrastructure. Imagine all of the benefits. Mr. Dector is still just a prototype and can be enhanced for various new features like weatherproof so that we can keep it anywhere, GPS enabled and all of the modes. I really hope you liked my idea and I was able to develop such an advanced robot so easily only because using PictoBlocks. PictoBlocks provides many extension packs like artificial intelligence, machine learning, voice recognition, face recognition, object recognition and many more. I would highly recommend you to use PictoBlocks and get your hands on it. Thanks for the opportunity so much and thank you all for taking your time and watching my video. And if you liked my video, please like it and share it to everyone.